what happens in Syria is very important. It's a neighboring country, uh, and Israel is interested in, in stability uh, on the other side of the border. It's obviously interested in having the most friendly or the least hostile regime in power in Syria. It's, and it's interested in the <coughs> repercussions of the crisis in Syria on the regional balance, uh, primarily since Syria has become, uh, in the past few years, Iran's closest ally. It's the bridgehead that Iran uses to, to get to Lebanon, to the Mediterranean, to our part of the Middle East. And uh, in, in all these respects and several other respects, this is a, a very crucial issue for Israel as it is for the rest of the region. The best scenario is for a liberal, secular, uh, pro-Western regime to come to power, to, to stabilize Syria, to take Syria away from the alliance with Iran and Hezbollah, to draw close to Washington, and this Syria then becomes, a, again, a potential partner for, for peacemaking. The worst case scenario is either a full radical take, Islamist radical takeover or a breakup of the country, anarchy, unpredictability. The change in, in the Israeli view of the Assad regime. Uh, famously in 2005 when uh, President George W. Bush spoke to then Prime Minister Ariel Sharon uh, about getting rid of Assad, who Bush simply hated because of what he was doing in, in Iraq, so he was responsible for the death of so many American soldiers. Uh, Sharon said to him, oh, he's the devil we know. Say, he's the devil, we don't like him, but we know him, he's predictable to us, um, and uh, at least he keeps the border with Israel quiet. He fights us in Lebanon and in other places, but he's the devil we know. During the course of uh, the, the following years, uh, this changed, and uh, we now say he's the devil we knew. Um, and clearly we know that in any event he's doomed. It may take a few more months, but this regime is, is, is doomed. Um, Israel, you know, the Middle East is a is the place for conspiracy theories. And you find two extreme views in the Middle East. One is that uh, uh, Israel wants him to stay and uses whatever influence it has in Washington to persuade the United States to keep him in power. And the other is that Israel wants him to go and uses whatever it can do in order to get rid of him.